I do. Why? You, you get information about people? I get to learn about people. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. I like I like talking to people about their past and learning about them. Um, you in other words, you're nosy. A little bit, yeah. But if you don't want to tell me something, I'm not gonna push. Okay, I won't tell you anything. That's okay. You don't even know my name. I do know your name. You told me I could call you Leon. Okay. All right. All right. These are my best kids right here. I heard that. I'm gonna make sure that they know that for future reference too. I'm a witness, you said that. I like them so far. I have four kids, not, not including Amelia. Well, she's, a, she's like one, a kid now. Each one is outstanding. Good. Really. How many boys and how many girls? One girl. And she's equal to the three boys. Good. You mean you don't know who my daughter is? No, who's your daughter? Molly Katzen. Oh, the, the cookbook? Never heard of her? No, I've heard of her. Okay, good. You're I didn't know she was your daughter, though. Hey. I didn't know she was your daughter. Anyone named Katzen is my daughter. All right. Okay. So I'm assuming that Amelia is your daughter. Take a picture of you. Amelia is not my daughter. Well, she's almost she's like my daughter in law. Eh, she's still family. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's a good thing. You got any siblings? I do. I have two older brothers. They, are they good guys? They're good guys. Yeah. You don't have to say that, huh? No, I wouldn't if it was true. If it was not true, I'd say it. But they're both good guys. They work hard. Where, where, where were you born and brought up? Churchville. Really? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Churchville. That's right next door to me. Yeah. I have more clients in Churchville than I have any place else. Oh, okay. Mine is hot. Yep, yeah, I grew up out that way. Both my parents are from Buffalo area. Where do you live now? I live in Greece currently. My mom still lives in Churchville. It's a nice town. I liked it. Good place to grow up. Lots of farms. You got friends there? Yeah. That's good. I went to Churchville Chai Lai High School. I beg your pardon? I went to the Churchville Chai Lai High School. Yeah. It's a good school. Yeah. I liked it. I wouldn't do it again, but I liked it. What what did what, what did you do after high school? I went to college. I got my bachelor's degree in criminal justice and social work. And then I got my master's at the University at Buffalo for social work. Well, that's good. Because I was thinking about becoming a lawyer too at one point. You were very smart not being a lawyer. I thought so too. I didn't want that much debt. <laughs> Student loans aren't very cheap. There are more bad lawyers than there are criminals. Yep, I believe that. I've met a few good lawyers, but I believe there are some crooks out there. When I say bad, I don't mean morally. I mean capably. Right. They may have the education, but they're not good at using it. Okay, now we'll start to talk about something else. All right. Your life. All right, I thought we were doing that. What about me? Do you want to know? Why don't you tell me about you? Well, my name's Sarah. I have two older brothers, and I have a sister in law. Well, what's too. your brother's name? My oldest brother is Scott. Tom? Scott. Dot. S C O T T. Scott. Scott. Yep. And then I have another brother in the middle. His name is Craig. You're the only one that has a Hebrew name. Yep. You're not Hebrew, though. I'm not, no. They're terrible people. I don't think so. <laughs> well, you and I disagree. We can, we can disagree. No, uh, I was raised in a Christian church. Where? I, uh, in Churchville. What church? The United Church of Christ. Oh yeah, I know the church. Yeah. 
That's where I grew up, so. That's I, a nice town to grow up in. Yeah, I liked it. We had a couple acres, so we got to run around and play outside a lot. Are you single? I am. How come? Haven't met anyone worth my time. <laughs> Pardon me for laughing. That's okay. I laugh about it, too. You've seen some of the options I there's out there. You'd be single, too. That's what I understand. <laughs> I don't know if personal experience. I only knew one woman that was worth my attention. And after three days, I married her. Good. And she was absolutely perfect. And I'm assuming she gave you four wonderful children. Absolutely. And she did a good job with the kids, even with, even with him. Well, he needed a lot of work, I heard. He's hard work. <laughs> what was her name? Uh, What's her name? I don't remember, but Betty. Betty? It's a good name. Her name was Beatrice, and she had it when my youngest son became a, a lawyer. Mm -hmm. She had him change her name to Betty. I don't know why. That's what everyone called her. What was wrong? What was wrong with Beatrice? I don't know. Old fashioned. I like both names. My uh, grandfather, his twin sister, was named Betty. Your, your grandfather what? My grandfather's twin sister is named Betty. It's a good name. I like it. Betty had a twin brother. Huh? Is he still alive? He passed away a few years ago, but she's still alive. She, uh, he was born in 1919, so he would have been 96 this year. You're younger than I. Yep. Yeah. Yes. So she's 96. She's single. So am I. Basically all the people that are on the other car. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to know? Everything. Every, I'm boring. I, all I do is work. Really? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Gotta pay the bills. I'm single, remember? Well, too bad that uh, some lucky guy didn't find you. Oh, he'll find me eventually, but I haven't met him yet. You never know. You never you may know. have met him and, and didn't know it. I may have known. I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? Yeah, you will. I won't. No, you may find out. Who knows? You invite me to your wedding? If I get married, sure. Okay, that's a deal. All right. I won't give you a present, but you can invite that's me. That's all right. You don't have to give me a present. I don't need the eavesdrop, but this is the funniest conversation. I know. <laughs> what did she say? She she hears us talking and she thinks we're, we're funny. I'm eavesdropping on you. She's funny. I like her. Yeah, I do too. We're trying to keep her around as long as we can. We like her here. You just live in this, this building? Yep, I work specifically right here on this floor. On this floor? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Yep. There's a lot of rehab beds, so there's three of us for all these rehab beds. Really? Mm-hmm. When am I getting out? Hopefully soon, when your apartment's ready. That's October. What's now? What's now? Uh, today is October 21st. I guess it'll be November. That's what they told me. So you'll be here for a short time till your apartment's ready, and then we'll get you over there. Am I going to have my own apartment? Yeah. Good. I didn't know that they give individual apartments at some of you. At uh, Walk. Walk. Yeah. Everyone has their own bed, their own room, everything. Well, great. Right. I know a lot of people there. Yeah. There's a lot of nice people there. I know a lot of people there, too. Well... 
It's very nice of you to come and see me. No problem. I appreciate the time. I like have I like our conversation we're having. Good. Good. If you like it, I like it. Good. I'm sorry. <laughs> so how's the rehab going? Ah, uh, good that I've heard he's been going. Um, he's walking everywhere. When he first got here, he could only walk about 40 feet. The hallway is about 150, so we'll have a little more detail at the meeting, but he's... How often do you come here? I'm here Monday through Friday. On this floor? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty intensive. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Excuse me. Why do they need you that, that, that much on this? Because there's a lot of people that come in and out. I see. So I have to make sure when they leave that everything's all set up for them. I see. Mm -hmm. So that, well, that'll be my job when you're ready to go to Wolk to make sure it's ready for you. Well, I hear good and bad things about Wolk. I only hear good. I got my friend. Yeah, I can't think of any bad either. I, I, I take that back. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about him, so. Well, I lived at the summit. I've heard good things about the summit, too. The summit was just a place. Yeah. I think you'll like it over there. Well, I hope so. What I like is I get breakfast. Yep. Food is good. You also get lunch and dinner, too. I know that. Did they not give you breakfast at the summit? No breakfast. I made my own breakfast. Okay. It's nice to get a hot meal. I made a hot meal. Yeah. But it's nice when somebody else makes it for you and you don't have to do You're the dishes. You're absolutely right. Absolutely. Anything else that you can tell me? Um, not really about Wolk. I've only seen it, and I think it's beautiful. I've seen the apartments there. They're quite nice. I haven't been inside yet, so I don't know. Yeah, well, when your apartment becomes available, maybe you can go look at it so you can see it before you move. Okay. That's a deal. Okay, I'm finished with you. You